guys. Hey, Andy. We, uh, we got a lot to do tonight, mm -hmm. but before we get started, I wanted to say a, uh, a quick thing here at the top of the show. This is uh, Tom Snyder's last night at uh, CBS, and I wanted to say something to him and, and to his fans, and to our fans, too. Uh, Tom Snyder was always a good guy. To me, when I first got this uh, job, uh, my first interview was with Tom Snyder, and he was a real gentleman about the whole thing, and he treated me pretty well at a time when people were skeptical. Uh, he actually did his Tomorrow show from our studio, 6A, right here, all through the 70s, early 80s. And I just want to say, it, you know, folks, if I have a career half as long or half as influential as Tom Snyder, I'd be a very happy guy. So, Tom, have a great show tonight, and thanks for everything. We appreciate it. He's a good man. He's been good to us. But... But don't switch over there now. <laughs> show here, we gotta... Right. All our fans now are gonna check that out instead. No, uh, he's always been a good friend to us. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Very good guy, and uh, I was a guest on his show. You've done that show. I've done that. He, now, he is a broadcaster. Exactly. Uh, we are not broadcasters. <laughs> I'm not sure what we are, but he is a broadcaster, you know, know. in the We're sense We're like of sort of human puppets or muppets know, or something just, i don't know yeah. quite what we are yeah. but no he's the real mccoy and mm -hmm. so uh i hope he he keeps doing it i hope he comes back here and visits us that'd be great yeah. he's a good guest and yeah. guests guests are these shows mm -hmm. as you know mm -hmm. guests are the having good guests like tonight we have we have good guests tonight excellent guests that's the important thing on any program like this but i wanted to mention another thing here at the top of the show which is occasionally folks although we try to get the best guests we can we get a guest who, for one reason or another, just doesn't work out. And you'll back me up on this. Oh, yes. I will back you up on this. Yeah. Because you're sitting right there, and you experience mm -hmm. the disaster just as much as I do. That's right. Well, it, in a vicarious way, you know. <laughs> right. I feel that sort of, you know, that I'm falling down a well kind of feeling. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I didn't know it was that traumatic for you, Andy. <laughs> It is. Well, I, we've had, over the, uh, you know, over the, over the years, we've had a number of uh, guests that it just fizzled. And so tonight, I thought we'd take just a minute to look back at some of those really unpleasant but memorable moments in a segment we're going to call Guests We'll Never Have Back. <laughs> One day I'll snag me a graphic, you'll see. <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm like a little bear cub learning with salmon. <laughs> All right, well, first up, I don't know if you remember her. First up is Linda Hardy. Now, Linda's a travel writer, and she's written a series of travel books about Europe. We thought she'd make a pretty interesting guest. Unfortunately, her segment didn't really go the way I thought it would. It, it'd take a look. So I was looking through your travel books, and I gotta say, they look fascinating. Now, let's say I was gonna go to Paris. Where would a uh, good place for me to go be? For you? Yeah. Well, there's really a fun bar on the left bank I think will suit your lifestyle. They've got all types there. Bikers, drag queens, leather freaks, real kinky stuff. You'll hook up. Yeah, but I'm not gay. Oh, Conan, it's Europe. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but yeah, I was thinking more of like a museum, like the Louvre, you know, well, a place like that. Well, the Louvre does have a bathroom on the third floor. Just knock twice and ask for Marcel. Great, hot, hardcore stuff. You'll love it. Yeah, but... Wait, how, how do you spell Marcel? M-O-R-C-E-L. Uh -huh. Okay. And make sure you knock twice. I, I got that. The third floor. Did you have a good time? Yeah, see, that, that's one. I don't know why we don't have her back. <laughs> that was one of the best vacations of my life. <laughs> uh, next up, I got to talk about uh, Donald Morgan. Donald is the reigning U.S. yo yo champion. And uh, we invited him on the show to show us a couple of his tricks. Unfortunately, he turned out to be nothing like we expected. Have a look. 
Okay, I saw you practicing out in the hall before the show, and uh, folks, I think this is going to be great. Thanks, thanks. Uh, I'll start out with something simple. I'm going to create a loop with one hand and actually rock the yo-yo through it. Uh, this trick is called, I think my wife is cheating on me. Wait, what's it called? And voila! That was, uh, that was really great. Thanks, Terrific. Thanks. All right, moving on to something a little tougher. I'm going to... Uh, uh, spin the yo-yo on its side and actually jump over it. And this trick is called, I can only get aroused if I visualize my mother. <clears throat> all right, hold on. I, I, I don't want to see this one, okay? Uh, right, I, okay. I, I don't want to see it at all. Okay, I'll try a different one then. Uh, oh, this one's called, I was drunk driving last week, killed a man and buried his body in the woods. Okay, no, 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 you're, you're, you're not going to do that trick. What? All right, I don't want to see I don't like this. I didn't like this trick so much. Did you? Yeah. Now, folks, uh, next up is Jason Seidner. Jason is an expert on body language, and we thought he'd be able to give us all sorts of interesting insights. Folks, I am still apologizing to all of our affiliates for this segment, and my apologies to you for showing it again. <laughs> Take a look. Now, what about the workplace? What can body language tell us there? Well, a lot, Conan. You know, let's say you go in to ask your boss for a raise, and he does something like this. That means he's planning on taking a hard line. You know, it's a stern, and you should look out for that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that would make sense. Or, or let's say he does this. Hmm. For instance, that. That means the subject is open for discussion. But so scratching the head sometimes means like it's possible. Yes, but there's, it's vague. It's a vague uh, area there. But if he does this, oh, that means that the raise is yours, right? But it's subject to periodic review by a cost analysis committee probably about every six months. I'll probably start doing this. All right. Wait, 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 We'll be back. At least now I know what that means. Exactly. I know. The raise is yours. Yep, raise is mine. All right. Now, folks, Vaughn Ramsey is next. Uh, he's a talented young singer-songwriter. But looking back, he may not have been ready yet for the pressures of national television. See for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vaughn Ramsey. There's a cold wind blowing through the factory gates, brushing her long raven hair. Keep going. <laughs> We're gonna jump in my car and blaze a trail to a place. Keep going. Where we'll never be lonely or scared. We're... Keep going. Don't... Yeah. Does this suck? No. It, it, sure? Yeah. Keep... We got a car full of beer and a heart full of mischief and we're... You can tell me, because, uh... Sing. Just sing. It's sing. Good. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Vaughn Ramsey, everybody. We'll be back. He did that for 40 minutes. Yeah. It was the biggest, biggest rating we ever had. Woo. And finally, folks, there's George Sparlin. Now, George is famous for having the ability to catch a bullet with his teeth. I heard that, and I thought, we got to book this guy. As it turns out, I wish I'd never had him on the program. Take a look. Now, you're sure this is OK? Absolutely. I don't know. It's a real gun. I don't. Conan, this is my act. This is what I do. OK.
See, he's a little different, because technically we can't have him back. Right, I know. <laughs> We're going to uh, take a little break right now, talk to the authorities, and uh, stick around, though. When we come back, very funny guy, Norm McDonald is here.